Welcome back everyone to the State of, of the Nation. Now, the Samagi Janabalavegia recently announced that their presidential candidate is none other than opposition leader Sanjit Premadasa. Earlier on, former President Mahindra Rajapaksa also said that Sri Lanka would likely head to the polls, probably in the presidential capacity, before this year ends. Now, many political analysts say that with the appointment of several governors across the country, President Rani Bikramasinghe is prepping up for a possible showdown in December. Many assume that uh, he will call for polls once the four-year term limit that allows the possibility of holding polls expires this November. So, will we see a showdown between President Rani Vikramasinghe and opposition leader Sajid Premadasa? Or will they unite and run under one ticket? Or will Namal Rajapaksa be the prime ministerial candidate? of President Rani Vikramasinghe. Will Anura Kumar Disanayake avoid the polls and let Dr. Harini Amrasuriya take the JVP's helm? Or will both of them jump at this opportunity? Whatever is said and done, the next president will have the daunting task of fixing this country. Let's get some perspective. Joining me now is the former Human Rights Commissioner, Dr. Pratibha Mahanamheva. Uh, Doctor, good to see you once again. Uh, now. Will Sri Lanka finally go to presidential polls after averting the local government polls for quite some time? Now, uh, Mahesh, you may have seen the changes. With all the changes, most of the people requirements are fulfilled. You can't see any queue. Or the prices also coming down. Dollar also now coming down. So, if you analyze all these facts very clearly, it will be a good uh, battlefield for the government rather than going for a local government election or provincial council election for the presidential polls. Now, there are certain legal arguments whether the succeeding president can call for an early presidential election. So, Article 40, some of the opposition parties are highlighting and say the succeeding president must wait for the full term, but the elected president could have done it. So, Article 41 and ABC, it is not clearly saying that. So, if the president wants to go for an early president election, there are a few options. One, you can take a constitutional interpretation from the courts, Article 40. Number two, we are the main opposition also now supporting for early president election. If the case is so, they can amend the constitution. The succeeding president also can conduct the election one year before. So many opposition parties now, uh, they feel better is uh, their president election. And uh, in that case, more favorite uh, position is there for the president at the moment, succeeding president. So, analyzing all these facts, economic, social, and cultural facts, and also IMF uh, agreement, all these are positively in favor of the succeeding president at the moment. So, I feel uh, next year can be a uh, full of elections, full of elections, because you can't postpone all the local governments and special council. So, the government or the president may plan in to have a presidential election first and then go for the other election uh, following uh, the presidential election. Absolutely. Well, let's leave it at that. Uh, we are short of time. That was the former Human Rights Commissioner, Dr. Pratibha Mahanamaheba. Thank you. A short break now. Be back with the closing.